Back home, the Valiant Raiders met Cleveland for the first time ever and bled early. But the Browns, a perennial NFL power, came roaring back. With time running out, Cleveland led 20 to 13. Then, near disaster. La Monica was injured. Blander came in and all that remained was part fantasy, part outrage, and totally incredible. Except to Raider fans who knew that discipline and desire was driving the men in silver and black. Politnikoff lines up as a tight end on the right. Blanda back to pass. Blanda looks. Blanda throws. Complete touchdown, Wells. Raiders score. Blanda to Wells, who dived, coming back for the pass. Caught it a yard in the end zone from 14 yards out. Now the conversion. Snap, spotted, kick. Good. It's tied. It's 20-20. 44 seconds to go. Nelson under center, split backs behind him. Back he goes to pass, gets the blocking. All the time in the world, he drills one intercepted by McClellan. McClellan at the 50. McClellan races wide to the right, knocked down by Kelly. The Raiders have two timeouts left. They have the football with 34 seconds to go. It's a 20-20 game. Landa back to pass, here comes Jones, he's blocked. He throws to Dixon. Dixon going for the sideline, gets out of bounds on the 45-yard line of Cleveland. Seven seconds to go. They're going to try a field goal from 53 yards. The odds against this must be about 76 million to a half. Well, George did it from 48 last week with maybe three feet to spare. Left hash mark. Stabler will hold. Stabler not as experienced holding as LaMonica. Here it is. Snap. Spotted. It's kicked. That's got a chance. That is good. It's good. Holy Toledo. The place has gone wild. Woo! I don't believe it. I don't believe it. The Oakland Raiders, 23. The Cleveland Browns, 20. George Blanda has just been elected king of the world. Well, uh, this last week uh, I was playing, so I really didn't have uh, too much time to think about it, although we knew we were trying to get into field goal range. And, we, and, and at the time, I really didn't care. As long as we got around the 50 somewhere, I knew we had a shot at it. And uh, as far as what goes through your mind, you don't have time to think about it. The only thing that... That, uh, that I try to do is to uh, concentrate uh, on the, the spot on the ground where the holder is going to put it and uh, watch the ball into his hands as the center snaps it and uh, go through my mind mentally that I'm going to take the right steps and, and uh, uh, say to myself to follow through and just actually concentrate on the kick itself and nothing else. Uh, I don't have time to think about the consequences or what the fans will think or what the outcome might mean to the ball club. Uh, we always feel that every time we line up, we're going to make it. And uh, we've always been optimistic. And uh, if you don't feel that way, I don't think you have a chance. Tell me about the teamwork involved in placement, kicking from placement. Well, I think that it starts with uh, uh, the front line holding out the, uh, the rush from the, the defensive men. If they can slow them down a little more than usual, particularly on a long kick like that, uh, it helps your timing. Then the center's got to get that ball back uh, with a lot of zip on it, and the holder's got to put it down uh, basically on the spot that we mark on the ground with the laces pointed straight in the direction you want to kick. And if you get all those things proper, then it's up to the kicker to apply the kick. And uh, if all those things are right, then you got a chance. If, if, if they're off a little bit, your chances are a little slimmer. They're not diminished completely, but they're a little slimmer. But if you have all that perfect timing between the center, the blocking, the holder, and the kicker, uh, uh, your percentages will go up. You went in there both against Pittsburgh and last week against Cleveland uh, through about a 30-yard pass the first time. That must be a little bit difficult to crank up like that right off the bat. Well, uh, no, uh, actually against Pittsburgh, I threw one about 35 yards, and this last week about 35 or 40. Uh, uh, no, it really isn't for me um, because I'm really, I, I stay warm along the sidelines by just uh, doing deep knee bends and moving your arm around. And, uh, and I, like I say, you're always mentally prepared to go in there, so uh, it, it comes as no shock to me if I have to go in and throw immediately.